So Robert Heinlein is what we call one of the big three. Isaac Asimov, Arthur C. Clarke, Robert Heinlein. And those are the first people to really make science fiction work. I'm Farah Mendelssohn. I'm an academic. I'm a science fiction fan. I've been reading science fiction since I was 12, and that's when I read my first Heinlein book. Robert Heinlein is a really interesting science fiction writer. He enters the field in 1940, when the field is still mostly the short story, magazines. Most of the writers are much, much younger than him. He served in the Navy until he was about 40, when he was invalided out. He was looking for things to do. One of them was politics, the other was writing. And his short stories help change the field. His most famous novels are probably Stranger in a Strange Land, The Moon is a Harsh Mistress, and Beyond This Horizon. But wherever you get a bunch of Heinlein fans together, they will argue with that. I've wanted to write a book on Heinlein since I was 21. I wrote my undergraduate dissertation on six authors, all of whom had written across a 20-year period. And at the end of working on this dissertation, I'd gotten a bit fed up of the other authors, but I was fascinated by Heinlein, because all the others, whether they started out left-wing or right-wing, their politics were more or less the same in 1985 as they were in 1965. That just wasn't true for Heinlein. His work changed, developed, argued with itself. I hope the book will be useful for science fiction academics who want to know more about Heinlein, his place in the field and explore his texts. I hope it will be of interest to science fiction fans, particularly those who love Heinlein, who want a chance to argue with me and tell me where I'm wrong. And I hope it'll also read by, be read by people who don't like Heinlein or haven't read Heinlein and want to understand why some of us find him so fascinating. I want to pass along funds. I want to do what Heinlein advocated, which is to give forward. I want to give to America's blood centres because blood drives are one of Heinlein's passions. My other charity is Connor Bust, which is a charity that raises money to send people of colour to conventions, particularly to Worldcon. I chose Unbound because I really wanted this book to be affordable. Most academic presses would produce it at a price only libraries could afford. Unbound can produce it at a price that most people should be able to afford, either the e-book or the hardback.